Okay. So this is going to be the third video on relative velocity, and this will be the second example problem we're doing on this topic. So in this example, we have a swimmer who wants to swim to a pizza place on the other side of the river. The river is 100 meters wide, and the pizza place is 40 meters downstream from the current position of the swimmer. Okay? Now, there's current flowing in the river towards the east, so if the swimmer would, if the swimmer would simply point herself directly at the pizza place, right, the current, if she would simply try to point herself in this direction towards the pizza place and try and swim in that direction, she would not get to the pizza place. Rather, the current would end up carrying her downstream of the pizza place, and she'd land over here, and then she'd have to walk back to the pizza place. So what the swimmer wants to do is point herself in just the right direction so that her motion through the water combined with the current will take her directly to the pizza place even though she's not actually pointing herself towards the pizza place. Okay? So to read the rest of the problem, the water flows east at 0.6 meters per second. The swimmer can swim 2 meters per second relative to the water, so we want to figure out what direction should he, she point herself in so that she goes directly to the pizza place. Okay, so as with other problems on relative velocity, we have three things moving relative to each other here. We have the swimmer, yes, we have the pizza place, B. And we have the water W. Okay. <clears throat> right. So let's look again and try and figure out which relative velocities are given to us by the statement of the problem. Right. So first we have that the water is flowing east at 0 0.6 meters per second. This sentence here is giving us the velocity of the water with respect to the pizza place. In other words, Okay. This thing that I have labeled current here okay. This vector here, this is actually the velocity of the water with respect to the pizza place okay. So This is the velocity of the water with respect to the pizza place And the statement of the problem tells us that the magnitude of this is 0 0.6 meters per second So what else do we have? Well, we know that when the swimmer uh, points herself in the correct direction, her motion is going to be along this segment here, connecting her initial position to the pizza place. Right? In other words, when the swimmer is aimed correctly, her velocity, the swimmer's velocity with respect to the pizza place, is going to point along this direction. Okay. So we have velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place is going to be along this direction like so. Right? However, the swimmer herself, she's pointing herself upstream of the pizza place so that her motion through the water combined with the current carries her along this direction even though she's not actually pointing herself that way. Okay. So, what we're trying to figure out here is basically the direction in which the swimmer points herself into the water. In other words, we're trying to find the direction of the uh, velocity of the swimmer with respect to, to water. In other words, what we're trying to find here is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water. Now, we actually know already that the swimmer can swim 2 meters per second relative to the water, right? So the speed of the swimmer with respect to the water, we already know that's 2 meters per second, but we want to know the direction in which the swimmer is pointing herself into the water. We want to know the direction of this vector here. <coughs> okay, so we have two relative velocity vectors drawn already, velocity of water with respect to pizza place, velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place, and we'd like to connect these two relative velocities with this third one. Okay? 
Now, for guidance, we can go to the sandwich rule over here, right? The sandwich rule over here, if you just take it as a relationship between letters, um, velocity of c with respect to a equals velocity of c with respect to b plus velocity of b with respect to a, right? In other words, as I said in the previous videos, you take the c and the a, you open them up, and you drop in a couple b's. So, what we're doing here is looking for a relation between these three relative velocities, which is consistent with the sandwich rule. Okay? So you might want to pause here and see if you can figure out such a relation between these three relative velocities on your own before proceeding with the video. Okay. So here's how this is going to work. We have velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place. Right. Let's apply the sandwich rule to this. So we have velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place equals velocity of swimmer with respect to water plus velocity of water with respect to pizza place. Okay. So this is the relation between those three relative velocity vectors expressed as an equation. Right? In other words, if I take velocity of swimmer with respect to water, that's what we're trying to find, velocity of water with respect to pizza place, and do a vector addition with those, they're going to add up vectorially to velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place. Okay? So let's actually start drawing the relative velocity vectors and see what that's going to look like. Okay, so first we have velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place. Let me just take this vector and copy it over here. Okay. Okay, so here is velocity of swimmer with respect to the pizza place. Okay. Now we have velocity of the water with respect to the pizza place. So let me take this vector and draw it down here. Okay, so there's velocity of water with respect to pizza place. Okay, and our sandwich rule is telling us that velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place, this vector here, is equal to velocity of water with respect to pizza place plus velocity of swimmer with respect to water. Okay? In other words, velocity of swimmer with respect to water is a vector that I can add to this one so that the two vectors together add up to velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place. So here's something where you might want to pause the video and try on your own to see if you can use the sandwich rule together with this figure to just draw in velocity of swimmer with respect to water before I do it for you. Okay, so here we go. Um, velocity of water with respect to pizza place plus velocity of swimmer with respect to water equals velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place. That means that velocity of swimmer with respect to water is going to be the vector that fits in right here. There's velocity of swimmer with respect to water. And if you look at this vector, notice that it's angled upward more sharply than velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place, which is what we would have expected from the original figure, right? Velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza place is here. Velocity of swimmer with respect to water is a vector which is angled upward or northward actually more sharply so that when the swimmer points herself like so, the current uh, ends up carrying her directly to the pizza place. Okay? Now, you can see that these three vectors together make a triangle, so we're going to use some geometry to solve this triangle. Alright, so what do we know about the triangle? Well, we know two of the sides, right? The velocity of the water with respect to the pizza place, that this vector has a magnitude of 0 0.6 meters per second. Okay. okay, so come in here and put 0 0.6 meters per second. Okay, so that's the magnitude of this vector 
The given information tells us that the swimmer moves through the water at 2 meters per second, so we have the magnitude of this vector as well. Okay, now we also know one of the angles in the triangle. You might pause a moment and see if you can figure out one of the angles in this triangle just by looking at the original figure. Okay? Let's look at this angle here. Let's call this phi. <clears throat> okay? Phi gives us the angle between due east and velocity of swimmer with respect to pizza. So if we come back to the original figure, this is phi here. Okay? And then by alternate interior angles, this is phi as well. Okay? So from the figure, we can just say tangent phi is 100 meters divided by 40 meters. from there. Well, what we're looking for is the direction in which the swimmer points herself, right? So let's go to the bottom of the triangle and extend this side over here. Okay? This direction here, that's east. Right? So imagine that the swimmer would start out facing east. We could ask, how far does the swimmer have to turn herself to the north so that she's pointing in the correct direction? Okay? In other words, we're looking for this angle right here. Let's call that gamma. Okay? Now, how can we get gamma? Well, we can relate gamma to the angles in the triangle. Right? Well, how about we call this angle here beta? Right? We know if we get beta, we can get gamma because the two angles are supplementary. They add up to 180. Okay? And then how are we going to get beta? Well, let's look at this last angle in the triangle up here that I haven't named yet. Let's call this one alpha. Okay? Here's our strategy. We already know phi, 68.2 degrees. Okay? What we're going to do next is get alpha, this pointy acute angle up here. Right? Once we get alpha, then all three angles inside the triangle will add up to 180, and that will allow us to get beta. Right? And then gamma is the supplement of beta, and then we have our answer. So, this, will, this takes a bit of thinking, but if you like, you can pause now and see if you can get that on your own. Okay, so here's how we are going to do this. Remember, the strategy is to get alpha first, and the way I'm going to do this here is using a bit of geometry we don't use very much in the physics one sequence, but it's nice to bring these things out once in a while. We're going to use the law of sines. The law of sines, <clears throat> the law of sines says that if you have a triangle, you can take any angle in the triangle, and then sine of that angle divided by the length of the opposite side is going to be the same for any of the angles in the triangle. Okay, so law of sine says take any angle in the triangle, sine of that angle divided by the length of the opposite side is the same for any angle in the triangle. So I'm going to do that here, right? I'm going to start with the uh, alpha here, and I'll write sine alpha divided by the opposite side, which is uh, the speed of the water with respect to the pizza place, okay? So that's the first part of this, and according to the law of sines, right, I just pick one of the other angles, and this expression is equal to sine of some other angle in the triangle divided by the side opposite to that. Okay? Now we're trying to find alpha here, right? so to help ourselves out, we should pick an angle for which we already know the opposite side, so we know as many other things in the equation as possible. So how about the phi, right? Because we know phi, we know the side opposite to the phi. Thus, you have over here sine phi over velocity swimmer with respect to water. Okay? Now, 
Everything here is known except for the alpha, right? I'll, I'll write that one more step. Uh, solving this, we have alpha equals inverse sine of speed of water with respect to pizza place divided by speed of swimmer with respect to water times sine phi. Okay, so make the substitutions. This is 0 0.6 meters per second. This is uh, 2 meters per second. And on substitution, we get uh, alpha equals 16.1 degrees. Okay? All right, so now we've cracked the problem, and the rest is just going to fall into our lap, right? We have alpha, we have phi, right? The three angles inside the triangle add up to 180, so we can get beta. Come back here. Okay, so we have beta equals 180 minus alpha minus phi. A substituting that gives us 95.7 degrees. Okay. And then down here, gamma is just the supplement of beta. Gamma equals 180 minus beta, which is 84.3 degrees. Okay? And then this is our answer, right? To swim to the pizza place in a straight line, the swimmer should point herself to the east and then turn 84.3 degrees towards the north point yourself in that direction, that's actually going to aim herself upstream of the pizza place, but then her motion through the water combined with the current will take her directly to the pizza place. Okay? So to finish this up, we'll say the swimmer points herself eighty-four point three degrees. 